welcome back to the channel. Now, you may remember a few days ago, we tidied up one of our planters and we put some radish seeds down the sides. And I told you that down the middle, we were gonna plant some peas. Well, today I'm not planting the peas. What I'm going to do today is build a pea trellis. So you may remember, this is the planter where we planted our radish seeds just earlier this week. We've got a cane here and a cane here, just showing the two channels of radish seeds. And I'm gonna plant the peas down the middle. But before I do that, I want to build a trellis. So I'm gonna fix a piece of timber here going up there and a piece of timber there going up there. And then I'm gonna put some string going across from one side to the other, just to give some support for when the peas start to grow. Now I'm not quite sure whether I'm gonna actually sow the peas directly into the soil or whether I'm gonna start them going off in the greenhouse first. But that's a second job, because the first job is to build the trellis. Now, as you can probably tell, it's raining here in North Yorkshire. We've had a couple of really sunny days, which has been great, because it means we've been able to get out into the garden and uh, start doing some planting. Um, but for today's project, I can do most of it in the garage, chopping the wood up, and then we'll go out there and we'll bolt it all together. I might get a little bit wet, but that's fine, because I've got my rain jacket on. Let's get on with it. Now I've managed to salvage this old pallet from a neighbor, so this is gonna be perfect for the two uprights and the rest of the timber I'm going to use to reinforce the base of another planter which is where my strawberry plants are going to be growing. Now I've been led to believe that dismantling a pallet can be quite a tricky job so we'll go, go to the garage get some tools and uh, let's get sweaty whilst we try to take this thing to pieces. that is hard work they really do nail these pallets together pretty robustly that's one off I've got to get one more off and then oh, we'll go out to the planter and start hammering them together see you soon
Okay, so I know it's rudimentary and it's a little bit rough and ready, but look, we've got one upright there, screwed in with just two screws, so nothing too robust. I mean, it is only to hold up some peas after all. And there's the one on the other side. So my next job, now that I've got these in, is I'm just gonna put some holes going all the way down. Um, and then I'm gonna put my string going across. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it. <laughs> Okay, so there we are, all threaded up. I came to the conclusion pretty quickly that I didn't think you guys would be that interested in watching me threading string through drilled holes. So we skipped that bit of footage. I got a little bit confused here, um, but anyway, who cares? Still does the trick. You can see how I've threaded it through there. And if we come down this end, all threaded through nicely. And on this side, I've just used a little bit of cane just to tie the string to and here. A cane here, tied the st string comes through there, tied onto the cane, twisted the cane round to get the tautness, then just pushed it into one of those drilled holes. And I think overall that looks pretty good. I guess now it's time to tidy up. And there you go, folks. Job done. I think we've done a really good job there. It's been a job I've been looking forward to doing for some time. Um, and the weather's not so great today, but it just goes to show, doesn't it, that even on a wet, miserable day, you can still do something positive in your garden. Um, next job is to sow some pea seeds, and once those have germinated, plant them out. Um, yeah, and hopefully we'll have lots of peas for the kids to snack on when they're playing out in the garden over the summer. Now, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please, I think they say, smash that like button. And um, if you'd like to see more of these videos, of course, please press that subscribe button also. I'd be very, very grateful. But for now, it's time to do a little bit more tidying up and go inside. I think I've earned a cup of coffee. Bye for now.